in luke the 13th chapter from the 34th verse it says o jerusalem jerusalem which killest the prophets and stonest them that are sent unto thee how often would i have gathered thy children together as a hen doth gather her brood under her wings and ye would not beloved relationship and friendships and connections must never be forced we must learn to go where we are appreciated and not just where we are tolerated in this scripture jesus laments about his frustration with the state of things in jerusalem how often jerusalem continues to reject and oppose everyone sent to them by god hear this my friend sometimes in your life people will reject you people will tell you to live their life people will not want to have you in their lives you my friend must be able to discern where you are liked where you are wanted and take the appropriate steps a lot of times in my dealing with people i see people who weep and cry because they faced a heartbreak or because they were rejected because they did not get to be with the person whom they liked oh how wish the world was a perfect place how beautiful it is when love is reciprocated but oftentimes we find out that this is not the case sometimes you may have very good intentions and love a group of people but they may not love you back and they may even do everything to frustrate you and to get you to leave their environment as we see in the case of jesus today god is speaking to you that sometimes you have to walk away sometimes you have to let things go you have to discern when things are over you do not have to weep when people do not want you in their lives you my friend do not have to continue to force yourself in places and with people who do not want you as we see in this verse jesus christ laments and says jerusalem oh jerusalem how often i would have been a blessing to you but you continue to reject your own beloved hear this when people reject you it's important to ask yourself why do i feel the way i feel why do i cry sometimes you may cry i have been in such situations where i had to cry but it is important to cry right it's important to have the correct perspective of why you are responding the way you do hear this child of god if you are a true child of god if you are sincere and if you are open to the blessings of god as a true child of god when people walk away from your life and when people reject you if someone decides they no longer want to have any dealing with you then if you must cry you must cry not because you lost but because they lost you must cry because you feel for them you must cry like jesus christ who lamented because jesus knew what he carried jesus knew himself i often say this if you have a consciousness of who you really are in god when people walk away from you you don't feel bad because they left you you feel bad because they left you yes i know that sounds somehow yeah the reason you feel bad is because they have left someone who is a blessing and can be a blessing to them for life you feel bad and sad what we call godly sorrow because you feel they've lost yes because you know you are a blessing you know you have what it takes to be a great friend you know you have what it takes to be a great spouse you plan to be a great husband and a great wife if people walk away from you you don't have to get depressed because they left you behind no if you feel sad feel so because they were not wise enough to see what they were losing it reminds me of the prayer that jesus prayed at the cross when he prayed for israel and for jerusalem he says father forgive them for they know not what they do jesus christ had a perspective of who he really was jesus knew 
that the person who was missing were the ones who were in error. Jesus knew his right standing with God. Beloved, if you know you are right, if you know you are good, if you know you are ready to be a good support to a man or to a woman, but they did not want you in their lives, don't beat up yourself. Stop being depressed. Pick up yourself, my friend, and wait for God's provision. When people walk away from you, it is usually because they didn't deserve you. Do not think that you are the one who was not good enough. Think properly. It is because there is someone else that deserves you. God doesn't want you to just be tolerated, to be managed. God doesn't want you in the hands of the wrong people, neither friends nor people with whom you are lovers. God wants you in the hands of the right person. God wants you with the right man. He wants you with the right woman. God wants you in the right association. He wants you in the right church. He wants you to be with the right persons. God is concerned that you are happy. So sometimes God will frustrate certain relationships intentionally because they never meant you good and because they never valued you. In fact, sometimes God used the rejections that you face to direct you to the place that you should go. Beloved, it is important that we discern and that we respond right when things like this happen. If any person breaks your heart, do not feel sad for yourself. You can feel sad for the person because it is not you who has lost. It is them who have lost. They could not discern the beauties and the riches and the glories that was in you. Can you imagine when someone walks away from the light of the world? That's who you are. When someone decides to detach himself from the salt of the earth, that's who you are. When someone decides they no longer need the city that is set upon a hill, my friend, that is who you are. You, my friend, are Zion. You are the perfection of beauty. There is a way God sees you that you also must see yourself. Do not let any person, by their words or actions, make you think of yourself less or cheap. Do not let your mind make you feel down. Do not allow yourself get depressed. Move on with your life, my friend. There is so much more out there. If someone walks away from your life, it is because that person wasn't the one in the first place. Accept it. It may hurt, but it's important that you know that this is working for good. Hear this, child of God. God will not allow anything that is yours be taken away from you. God's hands and his grip is so strong that if it is for you, there is no one who can take it away from you. If such a person leaves you or persons walk away from your life, it is because God allows it. And that is usually because God has a better plan that you do not know about yet. Dear child of God, hear this once again. Just as Jesus Christ looked at Jerusalem and lamented and wept over Jerusalem, the same thing I would say to you. Jerusalem, oh Jerusalem, how often I would have gathered your children. You, my friend, can be a great mother you will become a great wife so if someone didn't discern how great you can be and walked away from you that is not on you it's on them child of god pray like jesus prayed father forgive him forgive her for the sins for she knows not what she did forgive him for he knew not what he did and after you have prayed that prayer in all sincerity like Jesus Christ, let it go and move on with your life. For there is someone sure better in front of you who would value you for who you are, who would see you as a prize, as someone who is worth more than rubies, who would see you as a virtuous woman, who would see you as a faithful man, who would value you and think of you and praise you highly because of a truth that is who you are before God and before his elect. May God bless you.